Hi guys, welcome back to Buzz About Cricket. Andy Buzzer here, down on a beautiful day at Exmouth Cricket Club. Uh, today's video is actually um, one step further than my off-spin video that I posted last week. Uh, and this is the basic variations of what a young off-spinner can do. Now, I don't want to get into too much detail about uh, the carom balls and the douja balls. I want to really focus on deliveries that you can actually practice without doing too much different to your action or to your grip. So first and foremost, we actually spoke about the traditional grip in the last video. If you haven't seen it, please do check it out. Uh, it's a split finger grip where your index finger, middle finger are on the seam and your thumbs off the ball. And I actually said that this thumb acts as a brake. So it actually stops and holds the revolutions. Today, I wanna say from that grip, we could probably do three deliveries without changing much. Okay, and that's all gonna be done by little tiny nudges and adjustments to our action. Let's get going. Okay, so the first ball that I want to uh, talk about is actually the top spinner. Now this takes no change of grip at all. So traditional grip, we want to be actually releasing the ball at 45 degrees, therefore it turns into the right hander. When we actually release a top spinner, we're doing exactly what it says on the tin. We're gonna to be putting top spin on it by going over the ball. Now, if I actually get into place and I bowl, from that position, there is no difference of me releasing the ball from here to here. So if the batsman's not paying attention, they're gonna play for spin. We might beat the outside edge or get the edge. If we look at the hand, we look at the wrist position, when we're releasing the ball, we're going to be bowling over the top of the ball. That way, when released, it should land like a seamer and kick on. If we get enough revolutions, if we get enough top spin on the ball, the ball will bounce more. If we're not turning it miles, to get that additional bounce can also play havoc for the batter. The second ball that I want to talk about, um, I don't think there's actually a defined delivery name for it. I personally call it a UFO. And the reason why is because when we deliver the ball, we actually have the seam going horizontally around. Therefore, it lands on the leather and skids on. The way in which we do this is when we approach the crease, we're just gonna drop our shoulder and get our wrists to go underneath the ball. So a normal delivery, 45 degrees, top spinner over the top. Now this time, we're gonna break our wrist and we're gonna release it so it spins horizontally. Hits the, hits the uh, shiny side or the rough side of the ball so the leather kicks on and it actually traditionally stays a bit lower. So a lot of people think you've bowled the ball quicker there is no change to your grip, there's no change to your action, it is just the angle of which you're releasing the ball with both your shoulder and your wrist. So the third ball that I want to talk about is a traditional arm ball. Now, again from the same grip, we're going to bowl this at the front of the hand. Our index finger will be the last port of call, the last bit of contact on the ball, but we release it as if we were bowling a little away swinger. By staying nice and tall through your action and keeping your wrist behind the ball, you're going to enhance the chances of creating some shape and getting that ball just to nip forward off the seam. Uh -huh. Balls are top spinner, undercutter, UFO, or at the front of the hand, arm ball. Now, I have to perfect all three of these balls. In fact, I urge you to actually use one and get really good at it. Work on one and get to the point where your stop delivery is consistent and your variation is pure as well. If you've got the ability to change your pace, to change your line, that can be as effective as bowling a doujera, a carambol, an undercutter, a top spinner. Having just that simplicity and the control will manipulate and cause havoc for the batter. And at your point when you're bowling, you can adjust your field to create pressure. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, follow, subscribe. I'm Andy Buzzer, that's Buzz About Cricket. Always back yourself. Till next time.